For our clay name cartouche, our first thing that we will need to do is to write our, our initials in hieroglyphs. So I'm gonna walk you through that really quick. First step is going to be to get a lined sheet of paper. The lines in the paper will make it easier to space out your hieroglyphs evenly. Uh, if you just wanna use a blank piece of paper, that is also fine. Step number two is to fold your paper in half and then half again. This will give you four different quadrants to write your hieroglyphs in. Step three is to write the actual hieroglyphs. You're going to take your initials and write them from top to bottom in the upper left-hand side. My initials here are R, N, L, and I use the translation sheet to write them from top to bottom. There's an example here. Here's a translation sheet that you can use. You can pause the video to write down your initials. Remember to go from top to bottom. Next step is to practice three more times to fill up your piece of paper. Step five is to pick the best one. Pick which one that you think looks the best and cut it out. Step five is that you're going to outline your pencil with a Sharpie. You can see here, my initials again, R and L, and I went over it with the Sharpie. And this will make it easier to use when you go to make your clay cartouche. And here is what it will look like when you are completed. Your next step will be to use your clay to make your cartouche and carve in your initials. Good luck. Now that we have our Initials written out in hieroglyphs. It's time to sculpt our clay to make our cartouche. I have three packages of this Crayola Model Magic, this regular white clay. I'm going to take it and squish together into one big ball. I also have just a glass for something to roll with. I have my name written out in hieroglyphs already. I have a butter knife and I have a pencil. All right, let's get started. First thing we're going to do is we're going to roll out our clay using a rolling pin or whatever you have at home. I just have this glass here. I want to roll it out large enough so that my hieroglyphs fit on my cartouche. Remember our cartouche is that clay tablet that the pharaohs would use to put their names. It's kind of like a nameplate for them. So I'm just rolling out my clay nice and flat. You don't want to get it too thin. You want to have enough backing so you can write your hieroglyphs in there. Let's see about the thickness there. I'm going to check and see if I have enough space. So that looks pretty good. I want to have enough room around the edges that I can cut my tablet out. Next thing I'm going to do is flatten out my clay and put my already written hieroglyphs in the center of it. Now you're just going to be doing the three initials of your name so you don't have to write a ton. Uh, my initials are R, N, L. So my first couple of initials are pretty easy, but my last initial is the lion, which is going to be kind of hard to draw. I'm just going to go with my pencil and not pushing too hard in. I don't want to break that paper. Just push enough so that the impression will be left on the clay. My first hard lift. And you can see if I lift this up here, you can see the impression is just slightly inside of the clay there. We don't want to push too hard. And I'm just going over those lines. So for the hieroglyphs are easier to draw than others. Obviously my first two are pretty easy. This one is like an eye or a football. I don't think they had football back in ancient Egyptian times. And these are kind of like some mountains. I can always lift up my paper and make sure that I have got all the different parts of my hieroglyph. Once I have it's slightly on my clay, I can go back with my pencil again and I'm going to just draw over, 
pushing down into the clay, but not all the way through. You don't want to go all the way through your clay, but just have enough of an impression so that when this dries, you'll be able to see that higher lift. It'll look really cool. Again, I'm just going over, just like we do with our Sharpie markers. When we finish our drawings, we go over them with our Sharpie. I'm just going over these and making it so that you can see those hieroglyphs a little bit better. Make sure to angle your pencil different ways so that you get the best impression of your hieroglyph. Sometimes when you have a curved one, it's a little difficult, so you're going to want to keep lifting up your pencil, just kind of pushing down in to your clay so that you can see it. Sometimes you're going to even want to just get a, do some dabbing, push that clay down in. Remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. Even having some slight imperfections will give us the impression of an ancient Egyptian hieroglyph on an old clay tablet or cartouche in this case. And I'm just going around those lines of that hieroglyph, pushing down into the clay so that I can see it just a little bit better when this clay dries. And you can see that I'm just kind of pushing the clay for this one because it's a little bit more detailed. Just take your time. No need to rush it for here, especially if you have a hieroglyph like this for the L, a little bit more detailed. So you can see I pushed out into the clay enough that you can see it really well. So when it dries, you will see what it looks like, but not enough so that I've gone all the way through. Like, you can see if I lift it up here, I haven't gone through the clay yet. All right, our next step is to draw the cartouche. So we're just gonna draw a rectangle shape around our hieroglyph letters. Just using your pencil, you start out with just a rectangle and then round the edges. We're gonna be cutting this out. Draw your rectangle with some rounded edges there. And then right here at the bottom, Cartouche has always had this kind of holder. That I'm also going to be adding to the bottom there. Once I have my cartouche drawn out, I can use my butter knife to cut away the pieces. And I'm just going in carefully, going around, Starting with the rectangle and then I'll edge on the corners. And I'm gonna save these pieces for later because we're gonna be going around our cartouche, I'm giving it a little bit of decoration. Nice thing about a butter knife is it's usually serrated, which means it has these little jaggedy edges, which makes it nice to kind of saw the clay away. All right, now that I have my rectangle, I'm just gonna round those corners off. I'm gonna use my knife to just kind of round around those corners. Yeah. I'm gonna wanna lift it again, just make sure it's not stuck to our table or whatever surface we're working on. Now you can see, we're going pretty well. We just got a couple more things to add, so I'm gonna put this to the side here. Take my leftovers and we're gonna make a cool little pattern to go around the outside. So we're going to want to roll out a snake of our clay about the width of a pencil. So you can just use your hands. You don't have to use your rolling pin for this. I'm just going to roll out a really long snake because I wanted to make sure that I, I want my snake to go all the way around. I'm just rolling out with the palm of my hand, pressing down. So I have my really long snake here. It's about the width of a pencil. You can see about the same size as the pencil. I'm gonna check, make sure that my snake can go all the way around. So my snake can go all the way around my cartouche. This air dry clay sticks very quickly if it gets too dry. 
So I'm going to take my cartouche here and I'm going to wrap my, my clay snake around the edge. This is just going to give it a cool decorative look to it. I think it's going to have a little lip. It'll look really cool. The cool thing about this air drying modeling clay is it's very sticky. Add a part for this bottom part here. And it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm going to lift it up and make sure that it's all stuck together. Looks pretty good there. Now I'm just going to add my final touch. Just some texture lines around the edge of our snake. You can see I'm just using my pencil and just kind of drawing these patch marks into my frame of my cartouche. Going all the way around. I'm going to keep lifting it off of my surface to make sure it's not stuck. The final thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take just a little bit extra of that snake. And add just a little bit right here where it combines together. Push that in a little bit, give that the texture. And maybe just a couple more pieces to add in right there. And you can always add a little bit more texture to make your make your clay cartouche look really interesting and personal. And of course it's gonna be personal because it's got your initials in it. So there we go. I completed cartouche with my initials R and L. Now I'm just gonna let this dry. It'll take about 24 hours. All right. Good luck.